Hello, fifth grade. So we just recently got done talking about the Mayans and Aztecs. Uh, so we're going to move into the third uh, ancient civilization of Latin America, and that is the Incans. So our notes for this lesson are going to be like a web, okay? And in a web, the middle uh, is the main point. All right, our main point, main focus are the Incans. All right, and then from there, you're going to have uh, some subcategories, okay? Uh, the purpose of this lesson, the notes, is that I made them uh, red, okay? So if you see something in red, uh, that is the next kind of subtopic off of the main topic, all right? Anything that is in blue uh, will be the information that goes with those, all right? The details for these subtopics, okay? So that's what your notes uh, should look like for this lesson. All right, uh, so first, the society. Uh, the Incans were very clever in that they organized their government very carefully. All right, they're very meticulous about how they did it and and who was where and why. Uh, a big reason for this is because they um, wanted to conduct a census uh, every few years, and they did this so that they knew how many people they had and how much they could tax them. Okay, so they were already thinking about taxing their their citizens uh, long before many European nations actually were. Um, the villagers had kind of two jobs to do. One, they had to take care of their own businesses, but yet also um, whenever there was a government project, they had to do that one as well. Um, they also had like a Medicaid or Medicare system and that they would take care of sick and poor and the elderly, all right, which is really unique uh, for civilizations at this time. Uh, one thing, though, is that they didn't have a written language, uh, which didn't mean they didn't communicate with each other. You know, if you look down here, uh, <laughs> they would have strings called kipas, all right, and it was basically just a long string. Some would be long, some would be short, okay? They'd, be, they'd vary in sizes, and depending where the knots were on these strings uh, would be what the message was, all right? So even though they didn't have a, a written down language, their system of language and communicating was very advanced for the time. Okay, um... Really, the one thing you should know about religion is that they were polytheistic, uh, which just means that they worshiped many gods. Uh, at this time, there wasn't really science to explain why events happen. Um, so they, they had various gods and these myths about <coughs> these gods are what explained why events would happen. You know, if an earthquake happened, well, it was because the earth god was upset. I know if there was a drought, it was because the rain god was upset. So... This was really how they were able to explain uh, natural events. All right. And then finally, the last thing is construction. Okay. Um, the Incans were great at building. All right. uh, you would have to if you lived in the mountains. Your buildings would have to be able to withstand sheer gravity, uh, earthquakes as well. Uh, so they built a lot of roads and bridges uh, for the people to travel along and trade. Okay. Their, their main system of communication again were those ropes but to get it from one place to another they had to have runners okay so they had to have a great road system um, another thing that they did was because they're so high up in the mountains they had to have aqueducts and canals to bring water uh, to lower level places or to higher level places um, so that they could have irrigation okay and then lastly that they were masters of building with stone and they were masters because you know they were able to um, put stone blocks into places that really you didn't think could happen. And also, the buildings that they built are still standing today, so they're basically earthquake-proof, where today we struggle with that. But these Incan engineers were able to conduct and create uh, buildings that <laughs> even to this day withstand earthquakes and are still standing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, so your notes uh, should look like this. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, bring them to class. Otherwise, we'll get right into the activity once you guys have these notes, and we'll get going. I'll talk to you later.